Resist to resist. Prepare to fight. I'm actually tempted to start with the... Uh, Round begins The Sandal, man, yeah. Three, That's also what I'm two, going to do. One. You fight. will regret that. Like, usually I will start on uh, Kloop's uh, clutch, but I think it's interesting, uh, like, how I <laughs> was going to play this. Well, he doesn't survive the first fight, and he also didn't do that much damage that he can go plus forward right after he spawns. So, not the best start. He does collect a lot of time vials, so he has his ability up, and uh, Kloop has to wait. A lot, but he does collect the next heavy. Now, I think it is uh, time for Rome. Yeah, he has the LG. Let's just go ham on the refrigerator. This is uh, just <laughs> abusing clutch. As soon as he has the shield together. Yeah, the damage reduction is uh, worth so much. Rome will be working with uh, the control though. But the shield will actually negate that. It's actually, it, it's pretty interesting to look this, look at this from a spectator view. So this is actually the difference the shield makes. <laughs> we end up uh, in the mutual, so let's switch to Rome. But that does mean that Kluf does not have to be in control. Oh, he gets the mega health mid fight while Rome is on free health. He has to be careful not to dip his toes into the asset. He is relaxed enough to go for the time valves first. But it's also that Kloop is not really uh, amounting an attack. And, well, with the Bulwars. <laughs> he gets out fairly clean with the heavy, but then doubles back in a rocket. So now it's Kloop got the next major item, does not have his shield up yet, in a few seconds he will. Yeah, and now it's going to be tough for Rome. Like now, Gloop even has to stack to fight without his ability. And after this engagement, he gets the frag and the next major item. So now instead of uh, having his shield ready in an instant, he's working with the control. damage so he did die oh, this is so rough like his last death was actually uh, a heroic one he did decent damage before dying then during the fight 
Club positioned himself the, into the Mega Elf and the window for any fragments to knock the rope. Okay, this does work. Full rush into Super Shotgun. Five minute warning. 225 damage in one row. <laughs> and he even gets the passive. <laughs> Like, how much does the passive do nowadays? Okay, so the passive damage is actually uh, variable. Like it does 25 damage at 400 UPS and 50 damage on when you uh, are at 500 UPS. There we go, and the shield is wasted. But Rome moves away from the heavy. Stop watch. Oh, uh, this was comebackable, but now it will be. At least for this rotation, a little bit difficult. Only hitting one rail. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Uh, he will spawn near the LG, so he will get the Mega Health because uh, he also got the last one. But he has to fight himself uh, back into the heavy rotation. So now the next, <laughs> I want to say barrier, but it's, it is a lit literal barrier, is the shield wall. Nice, he pushes Klub into the jump pad of doom. He ha yeah, he should not get reeled and that was the case. Like three fracks, it's uh, more than doable, but why the real gum? You moron. <laughs> Like, if, if he's on the other side of the map, then okay, then it would be a good decision. <laughs> Sorry, Rome, Ro for calling you a moron. But that was a bit out of line. But it was a stupid decision that... Okay, Ro. 
Rome does uh, get another crack on the board, but the map will go to blue. Yeah, it is um, tempting because, like, the robot is easy to hit, but the reload time is just uh, too rough on you in such a small map and such a speedy champion. Uh, let's go. Uh, we go to Molten Falls. Yeah, club likes to play plus forward, roam uh, a little bit more plus backward, so the champions are understandable, but I do think uh, club will have the edge. And I don't mean Q2 DM1. I mean that he probably will win this one. Be my kingdoms finally come. <laughs> when you're prepared to fight all and throwing lightning, oh. then you can face me. Uh, Round begins <laughs> Three, two, Sorry, you guys one. missed it, but uh, stupid portals taking me down. Won the warm up <laughs> with a rocket to our combo. Uh, let's uh, take the overlay. Is on series point right now. Predictions are running. Uh, you can take your time. It. Uh, We'll stop in about three and a half minutes, maybe longer even, four and a half minutes. So Rome taking his time to wait on the heavy. And he decides to retreat because he, uh, he saw Gloop walking to the heavy and this is really interesting. Like, he's out of heavy control and <laughs> deletes both lights. Uh, okay, so he does know the spawn time of them. But this also means he needs to get into the heavy rotation. Hard <laughs> He's just removing it again. But, 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 but why? It's not that you get experience points, right? No, you go you get only experience points by collecting major items. Well, at least Klub cannot deny them right now. <laughs> but <laughs> it gets denied for him, <laughs> because Rome is denying it. For everyone on the map. Uh. 
and, and maybe it does screw up the game plan of Klub. Oh, Klub now removed uh, a light at the Mega Health. Let's see what is happening uh, at Klub's end. Oh. Yeah, he hears the movement of Rome, but he also hears the activation of the vision. So he cannot lay out a trap. Rome is around to collect, or at least hear the pickup. So he collected the pickup time. Oh, his rocket does not connect, his rail does. Stop watch. And he has to be careful, like if he now goes into a rail fight Impressive. and misses his first shot, Klub will just watch. orb into him. Or close to him. He is able to evade this fight. And also do the damage. Is he going to drop down? Yeah, he is! <laughs> and I don't know if he got the mega health, but at least he walks away with the first frag. Mm. So, <laughs> zero heavies for a run. <laughs> but yeah, an orb rocket combo will destroy him. Well, even the rocket will be enough. He now just bites his time to collect this light. Five minute warning. Yeah, and he shouldn't make a sound giving. Uh, Yeah, okay. Like, I wanted to say he shouldn't uh, give a sound hint to Klub when he went to the light. And I do think in the end Klub discovered him. And I also like the attack from Klub, like throwing that orb, but he didn't, he did not follow through. He is choosing control over the frag. What an awesome rocket. <laughs> nice. I think Rome just earned himself the heavy. If he... Wow. Club goes for it. That's a death sentence. Like, maybe the shenanigans with the orb still uh, would create some advantage for him, but that did not happen. Like, it was too big of a gamble. So, I, I, like, this is dense. Even <laughs> for me not playing, like, uh, the, the way Rome plays this, it's, it's so dangerous. And at least one frag is uh, caught up by a clue. Stop watch. Like, he doesn't have the speed advantage, but he does play in a way 
that he needs to evade every fight. And like you will get uh, the vision every uh, 10 to 20 seconds. But you don't have the speed. Uh, Klub does have the orb to get in close. Oh, but... <laughs> like, it does work. I still find it risky, but it does work. Okay, let's uh, see if Kloop can work his magic. He is not uh, going for control. Well, he is going for control. He will also be in time to do something about his heavy. Maybe Rome will even Stop watch. just leave it up. Yes. One minute warning. Okay, orb is there. Come it is down. not needed. Rome not fetching the heavy. So he will have rocket launcher and railgun. Now moving to... No, he's not moving to the LG. Yeah, he is moving to the LG. You better be ready to put up or shut up. Holy hell. Yeah, holy hell is <laughs> sudden death. The correct saying in this situation. <laughs> so are we gonna have five minutes of plus back from Rome? Okay, Klub not going to the heavy. Um, Rome didn't have vision, so he did not know. Klub wasn't in the area. Oh, this is rough. Like, I don't agree with with this at all. <laughs> but it, it works. <laughs> Like, Rome shouldn't be even going for the heavy, for that last heavy. Klub should have went there. He had the orb. Still, like, 40 armor and the mega health. So he would have won that fight. But instead, Klub waits for the light. Rome gets the heavy. And Klub... Gets cut out uh, in a shitty position, gets reeled two times, and the match is done. Good evening. Good evening. How, How is it being back in Europe? Yeah, it's uh, good. L like the first week was a little bit uh, rough, and I also missed uh, being there. Uh, but yeah, I'm back into the groove, and like <laughs> next week I will be here uh, on a holiday again. So oh, <laughs> living the life. Yes. Where are you going? I'm going to Spain. Oh, nice. Finally enjoying vacations then. Yeah, 
yeah, now it's a week with doing nothing. So nice. That's uh, awesome. I'm actually going to Spain in like two weeks. Ah, nice. Yeah, like last week it was uh, still very hot over there, but uh, this week it is uh, like 30, or next week it's it's uh, like 30 degrees. So that's doable. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Right now in it's like 36 degrees here, and same in Spain, I assume. It's insane. Yeah. But yeah, oh, yeah. Out here. I Prepare hope it to fight. won't be that hot. But it looks to be that way. So, well, um, <laughs> let's start on Three, Rome two, again. Yeah, like, one. did you see the <laughs> Molten Falls? I saw bits of it. Uh, it was entertaining. Let's uh, keep it at that. <laughs> It's about time that uh, Rom entertains someone with his <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Clip on the other yeah. hand is is pretty entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, like he hasn't changed his playstyle uh, at all. The clip had like five seconds to dodge that rocket. <laughs> he just decided not to. It took you to the face like a man. With a team. Yeah, but Rome doesn't push forward anyway, so. I'm surprised Kleeb isn't actually playing faster right now. He has Athena, he has Rail. He shouldn't be that scared of Rome. Because even if he goes down like one frag or two, he's still fine. He still has a big movement of it. And now this should be the, the key for him to go forward, especially after landing that rail. Still has his one hook. Should be using it right now. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, he did use it to enter the area, and uh, Rome missed his real shot, so. I think that's a win. A hook can he cannot get the mega on time, but he's still landing the shots. Oh my god, he's landing all of the rails. What is this? He has four rails out of four, five rails out of five now. He has not even used any other weapon. Finally, some damage. <laughs> Rome just lagging it. Well, okay, Rome is uh, surviving this. If Cleb doesn't, oh. I don't know if he... Oh, no, he messed up the... Yeah, he's going to be frustrated after that. Still landing the rails. It's 100% accuracy. Really? <laughs> okay. That's illegal. Nice, that's a good push. He'll be getting an easy frag. The good thing for Rome right now is that... Uh, his base stack is enough to challenge the Oh, however, he goes down here. Can he actually get out? Ooh, what? Took a bad rock in the face. He should go down here once again without even picking up the mega this time around. So finally, Clip establishing some sort of control. And now Rome is being put in the position that he does not like being put in. Oh, Clip goes in! Wow, nice. Some would call that suicide uh, for Clip. That's a, a very logical push. But, did Rome have the LG? Like, I think that was the only weapon that could have stopped uh, Clip. Or a, a rocket to the face, because, you know, you're going in a straight line. <laughs> what a shotgun. A lot of things could have probably done a lot with Clip, but. Uh, when it's that fast and surprising, it's hard to react in time. Because if you don't already have the right weapon out, uh, you probably don't stop him. Yeah. And currently, clip with 85% versus ROM's 16% rail. How did you like the accuracies uh, from certain players? during Quakecon. I don't remember seeing much of the... The only thing I remember is Venger missing a lot. 
Yeah. Yeah, but like, I think uh, Rafa out aimed everyone. I think Rafa just Rafa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just Rafa true. everyone. <laughs> yeah, true. We should do a Quakecon recap. I was thinking of doing it, and like the when I got the player cards, but it, it seems they're gonna take a while to get here. Uh, okay. So maybe we can do it. Which have this stick? Yeah, I don't think it will be uh, uh, this week or, or next yeah, week. Although if you're going all on holiday, yeah. it's probably <laughs> yeah. five by five over here. It's probably not gonna happen then. But... Okay, finally a chance for Rom. Still has some stack left. 15 seconds for the heavy. Oh, not the best place to be in, and he misses yet another Five shot. He, can, he cannot defend the heavy. But I think he kinda has to. Cleave not pushing, interesting. Oh, and that's finally Rom hitting something. No, that's... Oh my god. Auto. Wow. That's actually best case scenario. After going through the up the jump head and not doing anything, that's the best case scenario for Rom. Out of all the options he had there, he actually did a, an enormous amount of damage to Clip. Yeah, and he's he gets... gonna have to cherish. Yeah, and he gets into the heavy. And Clip is still in recovery mode, so you and the Mega Elf goes around. Okay, on rail. It's not gonna be easy to chase the Athena. So oh, okay. He has to just rocket jump up, get the kill. Because he's not really gonna get given any practice. He's machine gun. There we go. Machine gun works. So if uh, Rome keeps control, he's going to win this. Mark my words. But is he keeping control? So far he's fine, he seems to be a little bit flustered with his, with his movement. Oh, with his weapon selection as well. Oh, Cleve. Cleve is also making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, he's feeling the pressure. Like, if Clip now doesn't hit four rails, <laughs> Rome is fine. <laughs> Okay, should be able to get the mega as well. Not getting the kill, but two kills, three minutes. He's fine. He needs to keep the pressure up, not to let. Just to make sure Clip keeps, uh, you know, constantly using his hooks so that he eventually can catch oh, him. Oh, he can catch like him. There. Oh, uh, okay. That's, he shouldn't have any more hook right now. The chasing now could be nice, especially right before the heavy. And he goes in. He dodges the rocket, gets the second one. Does he oh. see Cleave? No, the rail! No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I saw, I saw Vale and he did this exact thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. He had the rail out. That is, come on, he just threw the game right there. That is a throw. Yeah. Rome, please. Yeah, I, I, needs... I caught him accidentally a moron. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> because I normally don't say that. But it was a stupid decision, and this was, again, a stupid decision. There's only one I, I am the nice guy of the two of us, <laughs> alright? <laughs> that, that was definitely a peculiar decision. I think he needs to unbind, to rebind the... Basically swap binds between shotgun and rail. Because he's clearly not hitting any rails. Might as well just shotgun. Uh, miss you too, Rotten Rose. I think that was to me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Both. But yeah, so no comeback from Rome. Um, let's call it a learning experience. We played well. Uh... I think Rome played really well as well, but he could not uh, outplay the rail. His own rail. What? Oh, that's a nice rocket. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was <what> that? <laughs> that was the most random rocket I've seen anyone fire. I wish I would have seen it from Blue's point of view, because that must have been just ridiculous. He's chasing him. Oh, he punches him twice. 
Oh, and now the shotgun. Nice. <laughs> He's learning on the job. Machine gun? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, he switches to the rail. Can you find him? There's still time. Oh, he goes to the other side and now clip. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, I didn't realize. I, I thought I had pushed the dog. <laughs> I must have <laughs> instinctively pressed it regardless. Oh, okay, that's it. Unlucky. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's uh, the GG. A good try by Ron, but his binds did not allow him to win the game. <laughs> uh, what's a rush? I will be there next year again, so... What if there's no QuakeCon next year? <laughs> there will be a QuakeCon. How do you know? What information do you have for us? QuakeCon will be there. I mean, people said the same thing in 2019, and then in 2020, you you couldn't go to QuakeCon there. But there was still a QuakeCon. Yeah, but it was online. True. Last year, there was no QuakeCon there either. <laughs> so what information do you have for us that you base such a uh, strong conviction that QuakeCon will be there next year? Well, if, if there's no 